cruising down the road. I-25, we hit traffic. Hello, everyone. Sorry. We are headed to, where is it? Frisco or something? We're headed to the mountains. Frisco. Frisco. For now. For now. Headed on I-25, hit traffic, but I decided I figured I'd vlog this since it's like the actual entertaining thing I've done in a long time. Otherwise, I'm sitting down playing GTA or something. Jesus, oh, yeah. We are headed there now. We were cruising until we hit traffic. But I just figured I had to start it. I should have started it a long time ago, but no better time to start than halfway through the day already. Okay, so uh, it's been a while. We've been driving, and uh, we've reached... I want to say the mountains per se, but it's like the front. Those are the foothills, I think they call. You can see them back there. <laughs> That's alright, whatever. Um, they're back there. It's a, God, if, you've, if you've never been to Colorado, this is really the reason to come to Colorado. Buffalo Bill's Grape Museum. That too. You know, if you've never been here, there's literally nothing beats this mountain, I would say, which is you agree. I mean, I've thought about my ears just pop. I've thought about leaving once or twice. But then look, look at this place. How could you leave with these essentially in your back door? Yes. Yeah, Smooth? What? Yeah, these houses are nice. Of course, though. They're in the mountains. They gotta look nice. Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys some mountains. I guess we're gonna get into better mountain territory, obviously, soon, eventually. Because, you know, it's the mountains. The mountains are gorgeous, no matter what. If you haven't been, go. If you haven't been in a while, go. Because you can't beat the mountains. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we've continued down I-70. Uh, and uh, we're making good progress, which is good. But we have entered this area with a sign that said... I wish I would have gotten it, man. But um, it said, landing zone. No, no, blasting zone. Yeah. Turn off two-way radios and cell phones. There's a guy up here Sticking to the top of the, <laughs> of, the of the school bus. What really? Yeah, I didn't see him. he's up there. Oh look, there's people rafting Anyway, yeah, I can't see but yeah, the word God, it That's stinks cool. up here, but it's, he's right there. He's all tan <laughs> But um, he, uh, he sat back down, but yeah, it's in blasting zone turn off two-way radios and cell phones um, I don't know what that means. That's terrifying. It sounds like. It sounds um, but yeah, look, look at this thing. Down the red thing. Oh sweet. But yeah, look, it's just so crazy. Look at the size of that crate. People are not working. But it's it's a weird. Oh, there they are. Oh, I see. They're probably trying to get another tunnel going through here. Are we in the Eisenhower Tunnel? Tunnel? Oh. Anyway, tunnels up here in the mountains. Just like I said, if you've never been up in the mountains, you don't know yet. But traffic is a pain up in the mountains, um, tunnels especially. But um, they probably looks like they're trying to build another tunnel. That's why like they're blasting over here. Get blasted! But yeah, it's that was insane. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if those are the signs right there. Hold on. Check. No. But anyway, it was creepy, man. It's just weird over here. It feels like an old mining town. Maybe it is wherever we are. Was. It still is. Ending blasting. blasting zone will be ended. Oh, never mind. Alright, well, I feel like every time I turn this on, it's about traffic, but that's how it is in the mountains. That's how it is. I was going to show uh, for people who may not have been in the mountains ever um, what it's like. Oh, yeah, see, look. See that? You can't really see on the camera. It's like netting. It's for falling rocks because, you know, rocks will fall onto this highway. It happens. Um, there were some, like up there, there were some like nets like to catch them. See, there's more. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's like, jeez, I feel like this thing's falling apart. Uh, oh, here's a perfect example. Like that. That netting is supposed to, I don't know if it will, stop rocks from falling onto the highway and onto the people. But uh, yeah, it's terrifying. It's a thought if you haven't been through here ever. Ooh, look at the mountains over there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love this place, man. 
so we're driving through the Eisenhower Tunnel. I don't even know why, but you know, I've never been through the Eisenhower Tunnel in my entire life that I can think of. And uh, it's pretty insane that we're driving through the side of a mountain. Inside. The side. In. Inside. We're inside of a mountain. So inside of a mountain right now. It is insane. We're deep inside of this mountain. All these people here. This mountain could fit a lot of people inside it. It's very loose. No, but I've never been through here and it's crazy. It looks insane. It looks it looks like from the future if you for to me. It looks like that one scene from my robot. I don't know the last time you saw it. But when Will Smith is going, you know, it's like <laughs> just going down the uh, down the um, area. Is this your audition? No, wait, tape? yeah. This is my <laughs> SNL audition tape. <laughs> no. Um, no, but... Uh, no, no, no. I'll get back on track. I robot? Yeah, I robot. And he's driving through, and when he gets attacked by those robots. Spoiler alert, I guess. I should have shed. Spoiler alert. <laughs> by, those. by them robots, though. The Lower robot? gear, steep. This is cool. I just wanted to film being in here because I've never been in here. Never right there. And it's, oh, we just passed the Continental Divide. For real? That's what that sign what said. That I don't know. Where they divide? It divide West Crossover. I don't know if that. Now I'm starting to wonder if they're just putting signs up here. Like if I see like Main Street up in here, then like we're a little different. It's hot here. I'm gonna turn this off so I can roll down the windows because it's hot. So there's <laughs> there's this one thing I'm trying to do. We all trying to get a picture of it first. But there's this thing. It's uh, for runaway trucks. It's oh man, FedEx truck. <laughs> of course. So we get to it. Um, it's up. It's literally that. All right, take that like that side of the mountain, and like it's like that pretty much right there. You just literally go up. Don't and fool, fall don't. Fast. But um, but it's for runaway trucks because I guess we're coasting right now, right? Yeah, going eighty. I'm going eighty miles an hour down this mountain. That's super and just think about it. I mean, if you're a truck, your brakes go out. I mean, that's like tons of, of tons of weight, obviously, coming in hot. And so they decided, they're like, you know what, let's turn the mountain into some way of stopping these trucks. And that thing goes up, I don't know how, how high. I, I don't know how steep it is either. What are you talking about? It says the speed's about 60, but it's not going to be No. no. <laughs> but, uh, it's insane. Is there another runaway truck ramp? saw one right there but it's weird it's like literally just like out of the side of the mountain um if there's another one coming up i got a picture of it you can maybe put it in but um it's it's insane no you can just place it in there you don't have to film it we can do things with technologies you have we have the technology but anyway um oh snap I don't know what I'm filming at this. Oh, there's another runaway truck ramp. So maybe in a mile. So maybe we'll get a, a better uh, chance at seeing one. Unless it's, an, like, unless it's another FedEx one. Yeah. That one, that one was crazy. Er, we'll Gosh, see. All right, just as I turned it off, it's there. It's up ahead. Um, yeah. You can probably see it now. Okay. See that thing where it looks like it's a road going up the set? Huh. See this thing? All right, we're gonna pass right by it. There it is, straight ahead at this point. That is a runaway truck ramp, as it says on that sign right there. So the truck will go up, obviously, and hopefully stop. <laughs> It'll just go right over the top of the other side of the mountain. I'll come crashing down. But yeah, that's that's a runaway truck ramp. You're doing the Rockies, Colorado. The rocks. The rocks. KBPI, I don't know. Um, you are not down yet. One more mile of steep grade to go. Is it steep or steel? Steep. Steep, I thought it's steel grade. Yeah, that's a. Uh, what's that? Uh, is that a. Sort of, is that late? Shh, I gotta turn this off. After all that traveling, we've made it to Frisco. Just did a bit of walking around. Still not comfortable turn with it. Turn left toward Colorado 9 South slash Summit Boulevard. Then turn right onto Colorado 9 South. Summit Boulevard. Then turn. But um, we uh, we were walking around a bit. Went in the Safeway to the Walmart. Yes, this was Sam. Still not comfortable with filming out in public yet. Like walking and talking. 
you. Yeah. So, but we made it. Zulok, check it out. Oh, yeah. Mountain area. Big old mountain over there. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to go. I think we're going to go look for a, a store around the, in the surrounding areas. We'll see. Somewhere different for once. Yeah. So in here we made it to this Breckenridge, Breckenridge Brewery. Chewing down on some nachos. Look at out there. You see it? No. It's nice out there. It's nice in here. Look at this place. Pretty cool. I was sweating the whole time though, breathing heavy. Not used to this altitude. That's what I'm blaming it on. And not my obvious overweightness. I'm clearly overweight. And drinking soda is totally gonna help. I'm gonna balance out my sugars. Huh? Clink. Yeah, I don't drink beer. But whatever. But yeah, look at it. Jeez, look at the size of jalapeno. It's juicy. It's so big. But yeah, so do something other than the than the car. This place is nice. I'll, I'll have to pull out the camera more often when we're outside. It's a beautiful place. Where is it? Breckenridge, right? Breckenridge. Breckenridge Brewery is where we're at. Brewery and pub. I'm drinking a Dr. Pepper because I don't drink. That's all I do. I drink soda. I have been challenged to eat. What is it? Eight giant jalapeno pieces from our nachos. And uh, there's no what? They're average. They look pretty big. I mean, like, <laughs> that's my finger. <laughs> yeah, they're about normal size. No, but I've been challenged to eat as many as I can, as fast as I can. And um, let's see if I can, we'll see if I can do it. We'll see if I do it. I'm not really happy about it. Because <laughs> look, look at the seeds. Look at that one. It's got seeds for days. Well, we'll see. Okay, the challenge has been changed, and I have a minute to eat as many as I can. <laughs> and I came up with the rules on that one, so that's my fault. So I gotta eat eight of these in a minute. It's being timed over there. Right. Here we go. Three, two. That's the hottest one. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> I think they're bell peppers. It's not that hot though. It's not gross. Be that bad. It might not even be that bad. It doesn't seem like it. The taste alone. <laughs> it's nasty. Oh! <laughs> 25 seconds. Oh! You got it. No, it's burning the throat. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Stop it. No, you got 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm spitting it out. You're done? Oh. <laughs> I didn't eat one. 42 seconds. <laughs> Oh, it burns so it's such a <laughs> it's a deep burn. It's a deep burn. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse. Someone else started being quick. Water makes it worse, dude. Get your pork and you get some sour cream. It'll help a little bit. Not a whole lot, but that dairy kind of stuff in. How's that working? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even one. Oh god, come on. Hour and a half later, we're out. We got Rudy here taking a picture. And uh, this is the this is what I was telling you about. How beautiful this place is. Look at it. Mountains. This guy says he's cold over here. He's freezing, I guess. Anyway, we're walking to a, was a Colorado thing? Col Colorado store down that way. Let's see what they got. But yeah, that place is good. Good food, good nachos, good beer. That's a quarter of this guy. Good Dr. Pepper. 
I think they got Dr. Pepper on tap. So just head down there and get yourself some soda pop. Ice cold soda pop. Anyway, on to that. This is the area I was talking about down, huh? That's old school as it gets. I mean, look, it's like an old little saloon right there or something. Old cigar shop. Yeah, this place is old, bruh. You can see it. This place is gorgeous. And look at it. It just, it just reminds me of like, uh, it was like Dumb and Dumber or something, that place. You know, those places that they stay. It makes you think of, honestly. And this place is nice. We have like, it's uh, like a lodging area, so you get to uh, share a room with two other people, possibly. But uh, you get a card. You can see it. Pretty interesting. I like it though. What do you think? Is that cool? Interesting, yeah. It's pretty cool. They got a bar over there. It's like a bar right in the middle of the uh, area. Yeah, just hanging out here in the, uh, like the, what is it? The four, yay. Pretty cool, pretty cool, man. We got free breakfast, which is cool. Maybe that included in the price of the uh, room. But yeah, man, just hanging out, charging phones. We're gonna play some board games, but they're missing stuff. See what happens. See what kind of trouble we get into. So this is the little room that we're staying in. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. I mean, see, the, these are ours over here. These are little bunks. Then you got this one over here for the other guys. It's pretty nice. I mean, there's a. You know, you got your little facilities over here. You got your little sink. You got your bathroom. What is that light? With a door that doesn't lock, though. Um, you got shower. Everything you need, I guess. Good lodging, hanging out. It's pretty nice. Got this fan going on over here because it's kind of hot. It's been one of those uh, rainy, kind of warm days going on. And uh, yeah, that's our view out the window right there. No smoking, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Those little, little log to sit on. That's yeah, nice, man. I like it. End of night one. Up in Breckenridge. I'm gonna get some sleep. It's my sleeping quarters right here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice, I think. So we're gonna go to bed. And uh, I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get a lot of vlogging in. A lot of good stuff. Entertaining stuff. But uh, yeah. I think I'm going to make this one entire long vlog. It's just easier that way. I get a lot of lazy. So yeah, we will see you. Well, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.